Hey guys, it's Feral Crafter, and uh, I am just trying to remember where I was in this game and all the keys to get it going. I know I've played it like over 200 hours, but yeah, a little burned out on it. Why is that not? Gah. Nope, 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 nope. Remembering how to play. No, let's let's create new ones. Uh, what am I covering this time? I'm not too sure. I just know it's been a while. Uh, some things happen in life that I had to uh, take care of. I'm still taking care of. Uh, not pleasant things. Not nothing I really want to. Nothing really I want to confess, but I'll probably go ahead and do it anyways because it's like meh. It's what's going on in life. Uh, what's. I guess what's going on is my mom passed away this last Thursday. What is today? I don't know. Today's the 12th, Sunday the 9th. So she passed away on the 9th. And I expected to cry more, but I've already said goodbye to her while a few years ago. <coughs> Used to be a home brewer. And uh, I took one of my best bottles down. Bought brand new glasses because it's my favorite glasses. They're actually uh, water goblets. <coughs> you can get it at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond for like $10. Or Walmart for 5 or Walmart's uh, distribution center for fifty dollars. Yes, that is correct. Um, Wayfair, yeah, Wayfair charges like ten times the dollar price, um, but you can get it at Bed Bath and Beyond for like phew, one fifth the price, or one tenth at Walmart. But anyways, uh, so I got these water goblets. Wonderful little water goblets. They're 12 ounces, uh, which can hold a can of soda, can of beer, whatever you like. Fits in the freezer nicely, so you can actually uh, chill it, and it's it works great. So anyways, I, I brought this down to my mom, and we killed off a bottle or two between me and my brother and my mom. I just shot the breeze and talked about whatever and everything. It was just my way of saying goodbye. Never said goodbye to her other than when I left but it was just my way of you know being like okay this is the time to uh, to uh, to say goodbye while she's still mentally capable because you know you wait for that last moment while she's gurgling on her own breath because her body is flooding herself with liquids and just no it's not the time uh, you do it while you know they're still physically and mentally capable because it's hard to say goodbye to someone with Alzheimer's who won't remember it uh, she does not have Alzheimer's she just was a drunk lived a good life 83 years and passed away so a few more funerals coming up and this was the week to do my my coding my programming to really just kick it into gear and put out another 40 80 hours of work and <laughs> had everything set up got the, the coffee ready and that was got my meals ready and uh, woke up started taking, a few call, taking care of a few things and then my brother decides to call and let me know hey mom's dead I'm like fuck so you can imagine that didn't go over well, so I'm like, I, I kicked all my plans out the door and just started crying. But, meh. So, I'm like, I gotta put out a video. I gotta do something. Make <laughs> sure the channel's not dead. Dead like a mother. Motherfucker. No, no, no. Anyways, um... You know, I just have not played this so long. I'm like, where am I? Plowing, obviously. Gonna make that th fourth field in the middle. Let's see what else. 
Bet you that's full already. I don't remember where I was. Wee! Back and forth, back and forth. Sneak up on it. And, yeah, that thing's full. Wheelie! Oh! No wheelie on this one? I think I have another tractor. Nope, just the one. <laughs> Haul it to the, uh, the, uh, dump site <laughs> with the, f with the harvester. I'm like, ha, ha, ha. No. Anyways, uh, I'll catch you in a second. Meh. Why not? Let's give it a try. Doubt I'll get up to speed too, but too much on these hills and stuff. So I basically got to plow all three fields, build a fourth one, fertilize, make sure I, I come to a stop before I make this turn, otherwise <laughs> the cargo may just slide me right off the road. Love the physics in this. Could use more work, but meh, better than what I can do. As you can guess, I am sober. So, this last Monday was the last day I had uh, something to drink. It was uh, a really bad day at work, just horrible. So I'm like, screw it. So I killed a bo bottle of uh, Chardonnay. And uh, that was it. So Thursday I was like, alright, it's going to be tea and coffee from this point on. I'm going to take my vacation. It's going to be 10 straight days. <laughs> Tea and coffee, programming, and getting my new system up and running, and plugging it in, and downloading software, and testing out my pen tablet, testing out the art program, seeing what I can do with the videos, and... Yeah. Bad news hit, and I just... I, I, I just kicked my plans out the door. I'm like, I don't know. I've not done anything. I've, I've just thinking about, you know, reminiscing, you know, life, the meaning of life, you know, it's, it's to be, it's supposed to be fun, enjoyable, worth living, you know, there's no point in being like 80, 83 years old and, you know, just eat flavorless food because it's healthy and you work out and you hurt and you're sore because it's supposed to be healthy and last long and you're just like, no, it, Life is to be enjoyed, not to be suffered through. So with that, I was reminiscing about Minecraft. And it's a pain to install. Uh, Feed the Beast Monster is through uh, uh, Blaze? Singe? Something. You can look it up. It's some uh, Blast? Burn? Something some fire reference and they've teamed up with twitch so it automatically forces the install of twitch as well otherwise you can't download it I'm like you bastards so every time I start the computer I have to kill twitch I'm like don't care I just want the minecraft and supposedly it's owned by Microsoft but the, the mods are still running just fine and they've updated so much that it's it's just not the same game anymore. You try and do stuff and it just takes so much longer and there's there's like going into the nether used to be like empty and it really took time to hunt down a palace. Well there's palaces everywhere now. It's just you open up a portal and walk into a palace and it's hard to find non-palace area it's rather amusing now. Maybe it was just the one I, I uh, started. Either way, uh, so I was doing the Thomcraft and all the tutorials and all the advice and all the hey you need to do this one and then that one and then that one and they don't work. It's been overwritten by one thing after another. So it's uh, amusing, to say the least. A pain in the ass to be realistic. 
uh, it's now a lot more of the back and forth. I'm thinking, hey, why not? 2018. I don't know. I should be programming. I should be preparing for, like, the end of America here in two years. <laughs> or become Amish in two years as uh, everything is... Uh, all work is taken over by automation and AI. So I've mentioned about State Street already. Major stocking us. Uh, uh, Wall Street Bank is going completely AI. And uh, they're firing so many people that they will be gaining $550 million worth of income back. Uh, they didn't say they're going to be firing people, but what else does AI do? It just takes other people's jobs. So these are CEO or uh, bachelors and masters and PhDs and stuff in financing and <clears throat> so they'll be hitting the market here in like <laughs> two years. Like sucks to be you guys, which means that there's like less degrees you can learn to be profitable, and you spend all these thousands, possibly a hundred thousand or more. Didn't want to do that. To get your degree to find out that we don't need you. We got an AI unit to do it for us. For free. Cost of electricity. Pennies. Go uh, sweep the streets or something. Enjoy your bachelor's degree and your debt that you cannot declare bankruptcy with. Debtor. <clears throat> so. Got to keep it positive. You know, happy. Happy thoughts. Dead mom, dead mom, not a happy thought. Dead mom, ah, uh, crap, anyways. So it's Sunday now, it's been quite a, it's been four days. I'm trying to, uh, keep it, keep it happy, you know? But, meh, who's gonna watch this? This is not entertaining. Meh. The sun setting here. In game, that is. And then everything else will be in the dark. I'm like, oh, lovely, lovely. Don't know how I'll do that, but meh. Never. I think it records nicely in the dark. But we'll see. We'll see. But, yeah, I need to make another recording and make another post. And, oh, it's going to be a mess. Literally, it's the furthest south tip of Texas. So once I get to my brother's house, it's going to be another 12-hour drive. I'm like, holy crap. So like, I don't know, 22 ha hours from my house, so there's a day right there. Just on the road constantly. Could take the airplane, but then I'll be stranded because I have no vehicle. I don't know. It's a little border town, too. So I need to practice my Spanish or something. I'm like, I got three days. I just don't feel like it. I really do. Yeah, that's the problem. It's just like, I just don't feel like it. And like, who am I going to disappoint if I don't practice my Spanish? You know, I, I don't care. No one's depending on me to know my Spanish. Well, it's not Spanish. It's Mexican. Uh, you can't find s schooling for the Mexican language because what you've got is all the uh, uh, Incas and the Aztecs. Their language is still alive and well. No one teaches it. You learn Spanish and then you try to speak to Mexicans and they're like, okay, okay, no comprendo. <laughs> and because, you know, they got so much Aztec in their language. It's a different language, yeah. Uh, the business side is Spanish. But how many of those are in, like, corporate businesses? Not many. I'm not saying that they're, like, you know, most people aren't, aren't like, corporate people. So they're not speaking real Spanish. Most of them are, you know, doing what they can with the tools they've got. <clears throat> so they're going to be speaking the uh, Spanglish? Well, it's Spanish English, but it's, um, or referred to as, like, parking lot Mexican language. Oh, hey, is it done? Let me finish up here. But, 
Yeah, I, I, so I'm like, even if I do practice my, my Spanish, you know, be able to do well, I'm like, I don't know if I'll be able to uh, <laughs> speak their language. You know, because it's like slang comes in, and, and even once once you know the words, it doesn't mean you know the lingo. Because there's phrases. We got a million phrases. You know, there's more than one way to skin a cat. You know, a lot of our phrases are uh, baseball references. You know, knock it out of the park. What does it mean? Do a good job. Really, just do your best. Impress me. Now, what do we say? Knock it out of the park. <laughs> so if you, you know, if you think about it, like, knock what out of the park? Am I supposed to hit you? <laughs> it's, yeah, you break it down, and it just does not make sense. Um, unless you're born and raised here. So I'm sure there's a lot of phrases that are going to be similar. Like, uh, Japanese has this uh, phrase for mind your own business, is hoe your own potatoes. <laughs> Which is, it's an awesome phrase. Hoe your own potatoes. You know, mind your own business. Don't worry about me. Uh, I, I, I don't know what the main phrase is, but anyways, you get the idea. <laughs> it's, it's just, meh. So I know enough to be like, no comprendo. Que? No comprendo. Mi, mi espanol uh, is no bien. <laughs> is mas o menos. No, I, I use that all the time as like so-so. Like, meh. And mas o menos is like all the, the workers, all the Mexicans laugh about it. Is a, they ask me a question, I'm like, mas o menos, and they laugh because it's like, it doesn't even work as, as like, meh, I'm doing okay, I'm fine, this is, you know, so-so, it's just like, it's my answer to everything. You know, how's work? You know, tu mucho acopado? I'm like, mas o menos. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I'm probably that white guy that thinks he can speak Spanish and all of them are like, I wait. <laughs> but oh well, oh well. Um, yeah, I don't know. Go down and have some real Mexican food. It'll be nice. We'll see, we'll see. Anyways. Uh, I guess that's going to be it for now. I'm just going to go ahead and plow and do it off, off camera. Uh, cut down these uh, trees and... Just uh, get that fourth field in. So I'm probably not going to. Uh, I don't know when the the fields are going to pop again. Uh, what is it? What is it? There we go. Yeah, I really don't know when the fields are going to pop. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully, it wasn't too boring or depressing or. Or all the rest, and uh, <clears throat> I will. Uh, oh shit, it's already full. Meh. <coughs> One log. Anyways, that's it. I will catch you guys later. Thank you for watching. And uh, this game is Farming Simulator 17, and this is Feral Crafter. I'll catch you later. <laughs>